Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastige of a Skin. Today, we're taking a look at Prey, the opening hour demo that's available on the PlayStation Network, and um, I'm mildly nervous because I have wanted Prey to be so good for so long. After that really cool old trailer, if you guys haven't seen it, look up Prey Bounty Hunter trailer. It looked fucking badass. It looked like Deus Ex by way of, uh, I don't know, like a first person Jedi Knight game, I suppose. It was just, it was fast. It was actually um, action packed. It looked like a really cool, kind of like a modern sci-fi, maybe possibly like the Cyberpunk series. But it got dropped on the wayside. It got dropped on its head in so many ways by other people dropping it in the development changing. So instead, we end up with this version of Prey. Now, originally, Prey was aliens abducting people off of an Indian reservation. And it being like almost like a historical thing that happens all the time. I don't know what they've decided to do with this instead. Let's check it out. You creepy, oily bastard, man. So yeah, uh, obviously Button the Cry Engine uh, designed to be a kind of a first person uh, horror slash uh, shoot 'em up, and I don't know, maybe, are they trying to do the well, it's Bethesda doing Bethesda things? And I am concerned, it's essentially trying to be a sci-fi Bioshock. And I don't have a problem with that, but we'll see what it goes. I mean, it's got the whole intentional creepy space vibe going down for it, but um, who knows? Maybe it'll work for them. I need to turn this down, we tiny touch. Down you get. Down you get. Down by. Down. I think that's more in my ears than anything else. Jesus. All right. <laughs> Pre-order prey today. I eat me whole. <laughs> all right, subtitles with main dialogue. All dialogue, just in case I talk over it. Uh, tutorials and prompts. Vibration on. Camera bob. Camera roll. Hit damage on. Uh, control is invert Y. Sensitivity, yeah, it's grand control map. I'll figure it out as I go along. Uh, yes, I need to actually bring this up in brightness. Yep, because you guys can see sweet fuck all on the live stream if I don't turn it up. And that should be it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Interactive screens, cursor speed, auto examine basic screens, auto examine workstations, auto examine, yep. Yeah. Fuck it. Auto examine everything. It's like, I'm essentially looking at this going, like, you know what? I don't care. I'm not going to go chase after anything. Wow, you're loud. I think that's just inside my head. So if this does, starts doing jump scares, I'm going to leap out of my goddamn skin or lose my eardrums. I don't know which will happen first. Okay, so campaign slots. Uh, survival won't be a problem for you, probably. Eh. Alright, I don't care. It's a demo. Oh, cool! Oh, so we have a male or female protagonist. We are going female, baby! Always go female. If you have the option, go female. The fact that they actually give you a choice as protagonist works for me. Happy days. Oh, man. Always love playing video games from a female perspective. Even though a lot of times they're not written, as well as the female perspective, it literally is just a, the exact same story just with a girl model running through it. But sometimes whenever you actually play games, it, it's entertaining. To, well, not entertaining. It's like come down, it's horrible situations that actually get articulated and particularly through the female lens. Um, like always the one that always comes to mind is Dragon Age playing as like a lowborn female half elf. Like you end up actually, it's and. It's really hard to sort of say, like, the a rape scene in the opening actions of a game isn't, like, triggering and upsetting for a lot of people, but it was also kind of one of those things going, like, wow, wow, shit, like, life is horrible for my character. We need to make that change. And you do. That's the whole point. You make the change. So, what do we got for our people in this one? M.U.? Um, oh, I don't know. I remember I know I heard the name at some point during one of the trailers. But hey, you. Let's see what you got to do. Uh, are we going to save everyone else too? Or is it just for MU? 
Good morning, Morgan. Morgan, you? Yes. Fuck off, morning. <sighs> oh, yeah. Fuck off. Did they pick you up? It's just a few tests. Mm-hmm. So uh -huh. Oh, listen. <sighs> really great you decided to come on board. All right, Alex. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna Alright, what was the name of this? Uh pick it up the freaking Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh I put that back. Uh hey. God damn it! Oh, fucking piece of shit thing gonna fuck Oh no man. Uh Ugh. Oh shit, no, oh, never. I'll pick up a pack of the. Yeah, alright, cool. Oh, okay. So, what I need to do today is share your email. I can't share your email. You've been coming up on soon. <sighs> never mind. Alright, your first official work day is Monday, March 15th. Alright, that's the day. Yeah, yeah. But first, we have a serious training exercise. Uh, fine, whatever. Typical. Uh, send a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, neuromod. Okay. Uh, let me get that done as soon as I can. I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs for their New York company stop. It's said to be the best. I think I'm a little disturbed that both of her children are going to be outside of gravitational pull. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Said you'd be better, I believe. Do something my big brother says. Okay, actually she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. That's typical. Mm. You're the troublemaker, kid. Alright. Mm. That's meal checked anyway. Uh did I finish off that bottle of wine last night? Fuck, I shouldn't drink that much. Alright, hang on. Uh, uh where are we going? It's all good. It's all good. That was one of the manuals. So where did I put this neuromod bullshit thing? I should probably get a shower first before I actually get into that damn thing. Alright, I'm gonna wait. Just 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 a just a little. A little help. Let me get through my day. Oh, fucking hell. Huh? Oh, that's oh, that's my cooking manual. Good, good. Someone else is sitting around the house. Uh, coffee, 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 coffee. Uh, coffee maker doesn't goddamn work. Drink water at least, then? Alright, cool. Oh, why you... Never a clean glass when I bloody need one. Uh, what's in here? Uh -huh. I need to take those with me as well. Need some fresh, fresh tea. Fresh tea always good. Always makes me feel better. And pomegranate too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be my lunch. All right. So that's lunch packed. Uh. I need to throw my shoes and get a shower and shit, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's anything else I left behind me here. Where's that goddamn neuromod they asked for me to grab? Uh, fucking what? 82 degrees! Oh, that's right. Right, that's right. We do Fahrenheit. Just thought it was like you cook it on the outside of the planet because I was wondering, like, should I go outside? Should I even dare to go out here? Oh, are you serious? Super still hasn't fucking fixed that. Son of a bitch! Fucking call his ass. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, I was going to think about sitting playing some games tonight, but it's not really worth it. Turn off that bedside light. Fuck. All right, let's get ready to go. What is this piece of shit? It looks weird. It's one of those things. Companies always go for the leather, don't they? All right. My apartment. Oh, wait, what? All right, I was wondering what's, what's going on there. All right. Good morning, Miss Yu. Hi, how you going, Patricia? Good, actually. Patricia. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Yeah, yeah, Patricia. Do you talk to Sipper? I, I know, but, but. Down the hall. But you know that, I guess. 
Are you trying to distract me? Like, look at somebody go and fix a goddamn door in my room. These things can be tricky, you know? It's a fucking door! It shouldn't be that tricky! Fuck me. Alright, anyway. Oh, oh. Alright. Uh, uh, yeah. Might as well go to the top floor. Okay. First day in the job. First day in the job. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm hungover, motherfucker. No need to be that loud. Ooh, all right. Yeah, gotta head to Transcend. Let's rock and roll. Miss you. Please make yourself comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. Facility is just a short hop. Okay. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Much appreciated. Just... Do you happen to have any gar barf bags? Uh. God damn, that's a great view. There. I know, man, really, isn't it? it like, it's just one of those crazy things, man, you know? You just think about the size of the city, how tall it's grown, you look around outside of it, but man, it looks so damn pretty out here. It makes you want to be just glad to live here, you know? I mean, like, how often do I get to take a helicopter ride? Not often. But it's just like, it makes me appreciate this, you know? Transcend being the tallest of the ball. Typical. Gotta have big companies taking big business, right? I'm sure you get plenty of business with them, it's all good. Here we are, Ms. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck to you. Okay. I'm gonna jump and cut my head off. All right. Oh, God, helicopters are so loud. All right, I need to make our asses on here. Do, 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 do. Hello, Dr. Hugh. Uh, hi. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. You're also loud as fuck, man. Like, I'm hungover. Sheesh. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Hugh. All right. All right, right. Uh, stop staring at me, motherfucker. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You uh, have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Yeah, sure, GLaDOS. Uh, pff, suppose, yeah. I mean, I gotta, don't I? Not all of these speed elevators are actually not too bad. Not too long of a wait to get to wherever you need to go to be blown up into something, I suppose. Well, either way. <sighs> hey, bro! How's it going? Hey, buddy. Nice to meet you, too. What up, bro? Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. Well, um, much appreciated. Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Right. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Uh... Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Alright. will be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. Yeah, sure. Yeah, room A? Um, bro? I wish I could show you what I've been working on. Dr. Yu. What? Are you talking to him or are you talking to me? I'm both. Better get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. Hey, uh, chill, Bellamy. Fuck me, man. All right, anyway. Yeah, shut up! Um, yeah, I'll see you later, bro. Um, oh. Huh. Very interesting. Anyway.
procrastinating over. Let's take a look in here. Oh, there's room A. Um. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. All right. We have some tests to run through today. Sure, whatever. Kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. Okay. Great. Let's begin. Sure. I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Oh, okay. <sighs> Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving. What the fuck, man? You're doing marvelous. What did you... What did you... Uh, mm. Talk about me as if I'm not goddamn... I really not appreciating this whole lab monkey business, man. I mean, all I did was meant to hide, so where the fuck? I. Mm, whatever. <sighs> what? Alright. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Alright. Boom. Yep. There you go. Boom. I'm sorry. Can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I saw exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speakers what? On. Yeah, motherfucker! I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's... <sighs> right. Let's go. Come on. I'm wasting my time with these, like, little bloody exercises. Come on! Fuck me, you're a weirdo scientist. What? What do you want this time? Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Duh! Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Right. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Yep. Plan on a vacation, go somewhere familiar you know you love, or try something new. New! Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. <clears throat> yep. Sense of death for your actions. How does it make you feel? Fred, angry, no one has that right. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Yep. Runway train is bearing down on five people. We are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Switch tracks, man. Common good. Next. All right, Jay. Uh, Southern platform. Uh, next train, a normally fat man pushing him onto the track would stop the train. Uh, hmm. Eh, I don't know. Actually, I would push the fat man. Probably me that was the fat man, though. Runway train is bearing down to five people tied to a track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Um, hmm. Push the fat man. Jump on the tracks. Push the fat man. 
jump on the tracks. Look, I jump on the tracks to be honest, man. Fat man did well. I'm impressed. Oh, really? Are you? Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what. Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. What the fuck? What the, I, uh, um, shit. What the, f uh, fuck. Huh. Okay. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. <sighs> Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Huh? Uh, what? Just a shitty ass dream. <sighs> right. Whatever. That's weird as fuck, man. I'm still gonna go to work today for the first time, but that was a weird dream to think about for my first day at work. I mean, I'm fucked up, right? in here I mean, literally this is all I got fucker I should tidy it up before anyway uh yeah sure the rig is a mess man Right. I don't know. I... Doesn't it seem weird? Six males? What the fuck? I... Huh? What the fuck is going on? Was it a dream? That's the same as the reality. Fuck it. it. Makes everything that little bit easier. <coughs> mm. Mm. Oh man. Screw that, I just needed the extra boost today. Uh, take that with me. Let's get in this suit. Suppose we have to go again today. Even though it feels like I've already worn this, this feels exactly the same as it did in the dream. Oh. My headache's starting to get really bad now. Wait, what the fuck? Patricia? My code name is January. You're not dreaming. Um, what? what yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. What the fuck. Ah! What the fuck? I. Oh. Um. Fuck this. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. What the fuck? I, uh... Hmm? What the fuck is this? Uh, um... I 
to get the fuck out of here. Is this... An... No, that's not what I need. No. God damn it. What's that note say? Boom! Happy days! Who the fuck are you, Simmons? And tell me what the fuck did we do? Yeah, password protection, blah, blah. Note about this morning. Uh, necessary panic. Uh, worry about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently... Whatever the fuck. The test results were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? What the fuck have they been doing to me? Mother fuckers! Okay, I need to get out of here. Sorts of fuck. They've been watching me in my fucking sleep, man. I think I might be carrying these with me for a while. Um. I'm sitting here eating pizzas, the motherfuckers. Where the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Okay. This is looks more like it. Is this actually gonna take me to somewhere? Oh no, wait, hang on. Yeah, again, my goddamn set. God damn it! What the fuck, man? This whole place is freaking me the fuck out. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Shit! The fuck was that? I don't fucking like this. I need to get the fuck out of here. God damn. Uh, okay. Um, reset this one. Uh, uh, echelon roof. Is that right? Right. Come on! There's an exit in here somewhere. There we go. Hi, uh son of a bitch.
Am I out? Feels like it. The Hephaestus Tiffy Twist and Loop Wrench is a standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed at Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and me mechanical agitation. Use R2 to switch the swing the wrench. Important press and hold R2 to charge your attack for maximum damage. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. Okay. It's kind of obvious. What? I'm back here? Hi. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Oh yeah, that was meant to be her. Okay, I don't get that. Seriously? There we go. <sighs> Needs to find a different route. No. Okay, I'm lost. Lucy, I'm home. Because of maintenance is no longer working. Oh. Okay. That's useful. If I throw you at this! No. That didn't work. actually helped but it made me feel so much better including you <laughs> All right. where am I going I have no idea how to get out of here I do believe I may have trapped myself in Utilities? And more on. Wait, that one was for my brother! I didn't realize that there, no. Alright, what's in here? Okay. Okay, I imagine I need to get out here. Out into the sign siege. Is it to the lobby? Right. Haha! Fuckers! Let me out! Ah, oh, man! Oh, shit. Okay. Come on, fuckface. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further.
experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key card, finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. Alright. Huh. Ain't that delightful. Ah, uh, you fuck. Come here. You son of a bitch. Just fucking hate the fact that you jump out like that. Shit. Come on! <laughs> Fucker. Ah! Hit that sound! <laughs> Belong to the son of a bitch sitting around here. No. Alright, so essentially, I... Uh, no more games mind pristine to receive pre prototype near mods, that means going way the hell back. No more games than the US use are dedicated to their science, is all I can say. It's a new memory, in fact, it's possible for now to separate the changes the mod takes makes from... Huh. Alright, so I can get new memories from mods. Oh, that's useful. So, uh, search. Nothing in there for me. Alright. You fucker! Every goddamn time! Oh, I hit that! Ugly little piece of shit. I need a drink of water just. It's naturally stressing, that music. It's just not pleasant to hear. Stop with the creepy music already! I had to remove the headsets from my actual ears just because of how creepily loud they're getting. Like every single time there's a sting for one of those creatures coming out, it makes me jump out of my goddamn skin and that is not cool. Oh, so it's down on March fucking 15th, is it? You cheeky sons of bitches. Fucking moving nowhere. I want to throw this shit at some motherfucker's face. Alright, the trans star glue cannon, jelly formed lattice organism of structure disables and or immunizes targets without harming them. 
Can extinguish flames. Temporary stop electric arcs. When hardened glue can be used as a climbable platform. R2 to flyer. Hold R2 to continue stream. Alright. Okay, I can get that. <laughs> Very clever. Elevator time. Let's get the fuck out of here. Nope, no control over that. Oh, grand. Exactly what I expected. There. In the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcript. Alright, so the Neuro Mod is essentially my way of upgrading myself. This is feeling very, 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 very Bioshocky. No, I think I'll take either. Repair. Repair. <coughs> Excuse me. Repair or hacking. I think I will take repair. I mean, hacking just goes up the six levels for it, but a repair sounds like a kind of thing that you can actually use a lot of. Well, the thing it actually gets the elevator going from behind us. Oh, Jesus! Oh, man, not cool. <laughs> that is nasty as hell, man. Oh, I'm just gonna turn this down so I don't have a problem as much. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. That's a lot better. Ah, so it's nice that the fuck the game has calmed down a little bit as well. So uh, I need to get the main lobby. I think the elevator is my best bet for doing so. Although, uh, ooh, okay. Skill recording room. What have we got in there? Uh, well, shit. I'm not going to get in there. Although, maybe. Nah. Thought that might be a window, but nah. Oh, you fuck! I don't like you! You fuckers! Also, when you come back really slowly. So, how to repair? Okay. Oh, do I need spare parts to be able to repair? Are you kidding me? No spare parts, so therefore I can't do fuck all with that Neuromod that I just got. That is absolute fucking balls. <sighs> Son of a bitch. So, this entire game is... Whoa. Oh, whoops. 
How do I consume a medikit? There we go. As long as we rob their bodies, that's fine. Yeah, so it'd be audio logs, wouldn't it? Alice! God. No one else is- Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I can't- Jesus! You're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's- What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevator. Someone said we're evacuating. Ah. Robert? Someone obviously came and killed you. All right, well, that's all the terror and fear and stuff done with through, uh, you know, I, I might just leave now. So that room's empty. That had no value to me in any way, shape, or form. It was completely worthless. Let's see. Where do we go next? need leverage to be able to get past that. Right, so imagine this entire game takes place in this building in a large way because it feels like that's what it's in plan would happen. Uh -huh. mm, of course the last one's gonna have a creepy guy. Right. So we have to worry about suit integrity as well. Alright, and the goo gun doesn't really stop him in one hit, it slows him down on the first couple of hits. Right, okay. That's, um, great news. <clears throat> Nobody in here yet? No. That was nice. I actually found some green tea. Uh, very useful. I really enjoyed the, uh, extra bit of time I spent inside this bathroom. Point of just not blowing up every single goddamn gun at door in this game. Anyway. Right, fresh water. Uh, near mods, great. That's fantastic. I wouldn't mind having a half dozen more of those. Uh, where's this? Alright, so favorite wheel. Okay, so. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> That's fine, then. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Originally, I had this whole idea that I was actually going to be playing this as, like, um, in character the entire time, but I just gave up on it pretty much as soon as it all went to shit. <laughs> so I have no idea how long I've been playing now. Mm. It's been a very slow experience for me. Um, th this really feels like a Bioshock game. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. This isn't Prey. This isn't like isn't like a Prey game. It isn't like a um, spiritual successor or anything like that. Is this is a Bioshock game with a different skinning to it? We're not running through Rapture, we're running through, uh, we're running through the building from, I don't know, say, uh, what was that movie with the tower block? High Rise, you know? We're essentially playing through High Rise, 
the survival in High Rise if everybody had actually gone and seen it and started seeing black monstrous creatures. But I think in this case, it's just the fact that we've been a lab rat for these guys. But um, I'm sure this is going to be completely screwed over by the neuro mods. Like, this is all just going to be corruption because every single time I hit things, it's all glitching out. Which is weird. Are they figments of my imagination? Are all these people here frozen and dead actually still alive? Ready for your first real view of the world? Uh, sure, why not? Don't care about that. Doesn't have any objects. Yeah, I'll wait until I have more for the rest. The hack was useful. First real look at the world. Ain't it wonderful? Ain't it wonderfully grand? Human resources. Uh, all blocked up again as well. Yeah. Does that need leverage two? No, leverage three to get up there. Huh. Uh, big tape drives. Uh, fantastic. Still using big old tape drives. Good and grand in this modern future age. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, wait. What the fuck? Holy shit, I did not even realize that whenever I was standing there up at the top. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. Yeah. I know you have a lot of questions. Fuck me. All right, we are in space. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I need to find my office then. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, get our asses up there. It's the quickest and easiest way to get up there. Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. Have they now? To muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Oh, Jesus Christ! Fucking mimic. All right, taking those stairs, quickest and safest route above. Our floor is it? Mm. Okay, what do I do need to do? Hack. Uh, navigate the bitstream to reach the target. Once inside the target, press the prompted button to complete the task. Okay. Right. That makes sense. Anyway, well in the bet, I'm going to die. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck sick. Suit integrity gone. I'm dead. I'm dead. Well, that's been pleasant. <sighs> Wonder where I previously saved. So I imagine that I'm actually meant to avoid. Oh, are you serious? That's not too bad. Where? IT security? Oh, uh, whatever. Probably have to come back here anyway. Alright, that's where I need to be. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck. 
Ah! So... So I said you either have to find a way in there from some other way or through the IT department to get the key card that I need, probably. Uh, son of a bitch. I think I'll try a different route here. What the fuck was that? Lemon peel? What? Goddamn lemon peel. Right, so uh, the fact that I actually ran into a line that said, at risk. Drop all So I am going to. Oh, oh, this is cool. Alright, so I've got an idea. I'm going to take this up here and drop its ass right in front of the door for these fuckers to find and be killed by. Mm hmm. There we go. And I'll hack away here. Let's go up and around and down and oh, 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 and in there. And then, boom. there you go. So, hacking the door. And, look at that. And, uh, probably going to see these fuckers right here. Attempt adjustment required. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Manually override to actually lock the door. Brilliant. And if I do that, I do this, and bam! Locked. Oh shit! Ah! No, I'm all out of ammo! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Uh, shit. Shit! Ah! Fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> Lock the door behind me and all as well. Okay, not my kind of game. Not my kind of game at all. Definitely feels like Bioshock in the way it's played. Like I ran into my first big daddy and I'm not really having fun with it. But um, yeah. You fuck! Oh, that felt better. Even though I didn't need to kill those guys, it felt gratifying to do so. So please, please tell me. Fried hard drive? I'm sure that's gonna be useful. Is there anything in here that was of use? Was there any point in me coming in here in the first place? Tick. Yeah, install the chipset. And tick. And tick.
Boom, key card. Sorted. Spare parts if I want to repair anything. I am delighted with this situation now. Right, that was worth it. So what's in here? Oh, for fuck's sake. And we're carrying the goddamn security key. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah! You fucking piece of shit bag motherfucker. Fucking stand staring at it too. Hit these scuttly little bastards. Anything that scuttles on the floor is actually automatically a piss off and fuck off out of my game kind of situation. You fucker! Come here! It's like literally every time I kill three of these guys I need to fucking heal up. I'm already done with this game, like, I, I'm literally playing it now to see how far it lets me go, and it says, like, one hour of gameplay, but I'm not too sure about how long one hour is one hour in this game's world. I don't know why I'm picking up flower bits, though. <sighs> Serious? This is a complete waste of my fucking time. Right, fantastic, that was great. You know, why? I'm gonna go back through that way. I could've actually jumped through this way and then fucking jumped down here. I mean, absolutely fine. I could've just jumped over those fucking chairs. Ugh. Right, get my hair back a wee bit and Are you serious? As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Right, I'm starting to get annoyed at this. <laughs> Scanning target, no alien material.
So fucking happy that I actually did that. Knew it was going to be coming. Knew it would be coming. Thought it would be the best idea in the world, and I was damn right. Captain Stabfellow. Ain't that delightful. Not surprised at that. Let me fuck with my brain. Right, so by actually being different characters, looking at who each one of them would be, they actually then let me know. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So if I actually find individual characters, it's a good way to search for uh, information that would allow me to go to certain places. Yeah, download area map. Be damn useful. Yep, yeah. oh, isn't that wonderful? Right. Uh -huh. I mean, it's completely worthless and meaningless to me because I'm not going to be playing for long enough to actually really kind of appreciate the usage of a map, but I don't know what I can do about that otherwise. At least the security office is fairly locked. I can take that shotgun, I can take the shotgun shells. It's a start for violence. Yeah, I can't open that yet. Uh no value, nothing of interest. Need security escort. Uh-huh. Someone's on the station. People talking about it. Uh-huh. 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 Alex, missing key card. Should be one of your highest priorities, EP 101. Uh, I need an EP 101 card then, I imagine. One one two nine. The holding room. All right. Hello, Dimitri. Piece of shit. Alright, that's Dimitri dead. So I'm just trying to do my job. Now I where I might get, not get a chance to talk to you as I'm writing this. Starting to feel like people are on the station haven't been shooting straight. Like what do they actually do in psychotronics? Yeah, I figured that'd be the case. Things feel weird. Nothing else for me to do. Literally nothing else for me to do. It's a holding room. Alright. Well. That's rock and roll. <sighs> Fuck me. So much for this being like the opening hour. I just kind of want it to be over.
ground is going to be a problem. The main lift is broken. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. I'll let you know if I find a workaround. That just gets really frustrating real damn quick. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation.
Right, so I'm mildly perturbed by what's going on here. You made it, okay. So I don't know what happened, but I put it behind me, but there's no reason we should still be civil. You passed me in the hall today. You look through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me. I mean, talk about pretending you don't even know who I am. Isn't going to help. We still have to work together. Morgan, as requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew quarters and the supplies from hardware sent up. So let me know if they get to you all right. And if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office, Jason. Good man, Jason. You should make sure you're alone when you hit play. All right. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it... Whoa. Your memory shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator. A sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms. Mapping their neural patterns onto ours. That was a terrible idea. A neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs, but someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Alex, shut your fucking mouth, man. Fuck off. Why the hell would I ever trust you? Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. God damn it. All right, so that was the first hour of prey. Um, yeah, that game's going to be coming out in about four or five days' time. Obviously, from what my experience was of that last bit of the gameplay, it's, th this entire game feels like a Bioshock game, which is fine. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's, it's just not the prey that was promised a few years back, which is mildly disappointing to me, but it, everybody else, like, not, that doesn't matter at all. No, nobody cares what, um, I'm disappointed in. It plays solidly, um, I would... Just say that any mechanics that have fast moving creatures, yeah, I, I noticed I could have turned up the sensitivity there a lot more to be able to actually track those things. I've never been the first person shooter type to be able to pick off an enemy very well, but um, yeah, that was actually, that was quite what, that was quite enjoyable, quite playable. Uh, once I learned and thought and worked away around the puzzles of what was going on uh, after my first couple of deaths, it takes a wee while to get into, but I'm sure there's going to be a massive interest in this world. Uh, allowing you to play as male female protagonists at the start off, interesting point, um, it doesn't really change much about the gameplay obviously, but it's just the fact that having variety is the spice of life. I have a wild feeling whenever I was playing this that it was just like Half-Life, you know, it was, it's one of those like, you're around during an instigating incident and you've got a wrench, you know, it, it feels like there'll be a lot more of those kind of like jumping puzzles and physics puzzles, especially with the goo gun and kind of objects you're going to have in it. I I don't I couldn't give a thumbs up on this because I'm not a first person shooter so I don't get into these as much. I, it wasn't fun for me, 
but I could see it being really fun for others. Slow pace, terror filled combat. Yeah, it, it makes me feel a little bit ill. Just kind of like um, like listening, to, hearing the imagining the tension strings that they played in the background of that. This game got loud and got violent with my brain, and um, yeah, I think it. I think it deserves a look, if not uh, your intention. So um, I might check it out whenever it comes out to full game, but for now, I think I believe I have uh, experienced all I require of the opening hour of Prey, considering the fact it took me over an hour to do it. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been uh, Prey on Pastiche of Skin. If you enjoyed my commentary throughout the beginning of this game, the way I kind of like to play in character and actually have like a, a, an alternate personality while playing as a game character, I do that in some of the other videos you can actually see up here in the corner. There's uh, plenty of Let's Plays that were done in that similar style, or me narrating the whole game if there was no voice acting for them. Um, obviously as well, you can find other programs I've actually done here on the channel on that. You can also hit down the buttons down here. You can hit any of those kind of things and actually be able to show you, uh, if you just Google Passage of Skin, you'll be able to find me on some social media platform in some way, shape, or form to get a hold of me. And if you enjoyed specifically this show on this channel that you're watching on right now, make sure to hit the subscribe button or the follow button or whatever is relevant for the particular source. And I will see all you dudes in the next video.